Hi all, let's learn Helm file with vMake. In case of Kubernetes, there is a no doubt Helm is a really, really great tool that come with a great capability to package your many phase and deploy them as a release. But what will happen if you have to change some value? So you are providing some, some either hyphen hyphen set, the single parameter or hyphen of for in case of whole file and you change the value. And if you having more and more deployment, you change your Helm installation command within the form of script and you do and you manage uh, all those changes value either in, in form of package or, or like in, in some version control. But did you ever think like to managing or to using this lot of C like can we make it more declarative way? So that's how the Helm file come into the picture. So what is the Helm file? Actually Helm file is a tool that actually provide lot of declarative specification to your existing Helm chart. So when you deploy a Helm chart across many environment, then Helm file able to manage your chart value files as well as you can maintain the changes like whatever changes, whatever Helm file, like if you're using some changing value in some environment and you want to make some changes for another environment, you can make those changes in the form of variable and you can pass those value into the Helm file. Might be not making sense for you at the moment, but when we are going to the demo that we are going, on, then you will able to understand. So let's begin our lab. So things start always with the installation. So how you will install the Helm file. Again, Helm file is a tool. So in case of if the based on your OS, you can install if you have Mac, like at the moment I'm working on the Mac OS, so I can use Brew. So Brew able to install Helm file. If you having other OS, like you having Window, or you having any other machine, you can follow this particular link that I will put on the description. Then you can go on this link and find out uh, which suitable for your OS and install it. Another binary or another tool we require for Helm file that is the diff. Actually. It is a Helm plugin, Helm diff I'm talking, not Helm file. Helm diff is a Helm plugin that actually making Helm file sync with your release. Like if you did today some release and tomorrow you are doing your CI CD and there you will get to know that I'm not making any change into my existing release or from Helm file, you can do more than one releases at a moment. So suppose you are not making changes into one release, but you are making changes into the another release. So what you can do, the Helm uh, plugin that is we are calling as a Helm diff plugin can able to sense and provide the information to your Helm file what to do next. So that's the reason we require this plugin. Now, how we will do this lab? So we are talking about here Helm, Helm chart, Helm file. So at least these dependency we need to set up into our system. So I already set up, I installed the Helm file. I installed that diff plugin as link given, even you can install yourself and I need a chart. So I put into this particular uh, Git repo and I clone it and I found this chart. And here I have some value here. Suppose I'm using the image name, Nginx. And after that, I'm using the cluster type uh, service type as a cluster IP and I have application count one. So suppose uh, I need to deploy everything with the help of Helm. I suppose I don't have Helm file at the moment. So how I will deploy? I, I going to write uh, like I'm, I'm going to trigger this particular CLI for the Helm. Like it's nothing new. Here I'm going to install a Helm chart from the Helm and it is going to create a release. The name is without Helm file, as I'm not passing any value with the CLI, you can see, right? Neither I'm, I'm setting that any hyphen hyphen set flag here, neither I'm setting hyphen up. So whatever values it given into this chart that is going to be deployed, that's it, Boom. So it is done. So if I see here, kubectl get deployment, I can see here only one replica because it is defined into my value.yml. And if I need to see the release, so I can see here, some command helm list. 
So boom, it is showing that my helm is deployed with the release name that, that I expected and I installed it. So now helm is done. So what the helm file will do here. So we are also going to deploy the same helm chart with the help of helm file tool. So what is the input to require to helm file? Because you saw right, helm requires some input, the name of the chart, the name of the release are some if it we need to require to change some value so we need to pass some flag like hyphen hyphen set flag or hyphen of flag so similar way we require those input into helm file but in declarative way so what is the input file here so we are passing a file actually here the name is helm file so i said when we deploy the helm we require the release name similar way when we deploy with the helm file we also require the release name so similar way i i put the information and i need to make some difference like whatever i deploy with the help of helm i want some change in with the help of helm file so you will able to understand what helm file do actually so here you saw that in case of value dot yml i have replication count is equal to one but i want to change into the two so in case of helm file i put two so whatever values I'm having in existing chart, I want to change those value with the help of Helm. So I need to pass those parameter if I need to do with the help of Helm, hyphen, hyphen set or hyphen up. But in case of Helm file, I can do those part into the declarative way. Let's see. So the command that I'm going to run for in case of Helm file as I'm passing this file as a by default, so helm file c helm file dot yml file as a default input so the command when you do the helm file hyphen hyphen help you will get lot of commands so the command that get used to deploy a release or deploy a release from a helm chart that is apply command so i did it helm file apply sorry let me trigger it again so i did it so earlier you saw that I had one release with the helm that name is with out helm file. If you forget, I let me show that again. So I did it earlier. The name is without helm file. Now I did with helm file. You see, right? With helm file, my first release. So when I trigger here the command helm list, let me make it clear. And if I do here helm list, I can see both the releases. You see here. I have released with my with helm file manifest and see the difference. If you look by the chart, you can see that both release came from the same chart. So there is no difference. So what difference we get here? kubectl get deployment. Earlier chart, we had the replication one, but during the same chart, when we deploy with the helm file, I got the replication count is equal to two. Let's do some more, more interesting fact here. Suppose I need to deploy multiple releases from the same chart. So how can I achieve in case of Helm? In case of Helm, I need to write a lot of command to make the same thing. But in case of Helm file, I can do in very quickly, like in, in another chart, I want a release name, my release two, and there I want replication count only one because it's just a test so let me trigger the command again first i need to save the file actually so i save the file so that's how uh that's the beauty of uh helm you saw right earlier i deployed a chart the name is helm file release one as i already having the diff plugin so it is not making any change in that chart if you see here it's saying that release was not present into the helm and it can it difference showing that it's a new so it deploy only my second chart so when i see here helm list i can see now three chart first chart that came first chart it came without helm file the second chart came from helm and now i put in the same helm file to release that is the beauty of helm file that's how it will do and that's making it's a more interesting to use 
now might be you having some equation like how uh, it will bring some chart on my remote or, or how i can make my chart that is available on the remote to work on my system so that's how i i created a, another helm file as well that is bringing chart so if you see this this is the helm file too i created just now it's bringing the chart from this remote repo that is um, one of my favorite that is bitnami uh, in, in case of uh, I'm, I'm just for example i'm bringing their nginx chart so how it will work now so earlier you can see helm file i apply so this time i'm not going to apply this time i'm showing you what it will do deploy so there is a command called template and here my help file name is help file 2.yml it means it's not a default file so if we don't have default file in generally we are passing hyphen f as a parameter to check that file name so let me show that what it will do deploy so you see that i run a command helm file template it is a command of helm file that will showing us what is going to be deployed and you found that when i run this command you get to know that it did the repo add to my cluster and after that it is brought every information from the remote and deploy so helm file is able to deploy your helm chart even though that is not available uh, physically on that system brought from the remote and deployed so that's how a uh, helm file can help us uh, to manage our uh, old release in declarative way and it is a good tool to use with ci cd so that's how uh, this this demo is done and I, I kept the level is basic actually because helm file having lot of capability if you see here if i go to here helm file hyphen hyphen help i can see this lot of command that lot of option that can build and can can help us to to make the things clear like if you I, if i run the here command helm file destroy so whatever release i did from my helm file earlier that get destroyed i mean to say those get uninstalled so if i need to uninstall the chart that is deployed with the help of helm i need to run i need to fire the command helm uninstall and the release name the similar way helm file will do with the destroy command but the beauty is that if you are having around 10 chart or 10 releases into your helm file you need to trigger a single command but if you having the same release with help of helm you need to again trigger the 10 cli so all leveraging our cli in case of helm helm file make a lot of uh you can say that uh capability in in our release management or in in case of any ci cd tools so that's how we are ending this session hope you like it so i'm just stopping the recording if you having any any question are you having any query you can put into the comment and that's it happy learning